Sehr geehrte Damen und Herren, herzlich willkommen zu einer neuen Episode von Journey to the Chateau und wir wünschen eine frohe Ostern. Bonjour à tous, joyeuse Pâques et bienvenue à Journey to the Chateau de Colombe in Saint-Baudel. And uh, to our English speaking friends from around the world, welcome to a new episode of Journey to the Chateau. And Happy Easter! And Happy Passover! <laughs> no, no, welcome! And we are in a we are in a location that sort of looks like a kitchen. <laughs> well, it's um, it's a new room. It is, and it's not finished. But <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, so I, I was just thinking something uh, a bit earlier that I haven't told Stuart. But you are not going to see the the kitchen until we have our cooker in the entire kitchen. Right. You might see a snapshot here, there, like this parts of it right and um this is exciting mm -hmm. very much here. a functioning built-in microwave thank you john that was fantastic he was here today mm -hmm. um we have all our outlets work and plugs i mm -hmm. mean we can, we can plug in we can plug in things it's fantastic and by the way so what's behind us here is the rest of the pearl hyacinth blooming really really cute and the the tulips that we planted last uh what well, last winter basically well, yes, still yes. Winter. <laughs> and, yeah in the winter it was yes uh but they, they are they are now blooming so what we've done is is so far given us what four weeks of flowers yes it's lovely yeah. so in any case uh, not, I, that i have digressed as i <laughs> right so so to do. this episode is about what you see around us yes So what are we working on this afternoon? Oh, hello. Hey, though. Uh, well, I'm, so I'm painting all the kitchen cabinets 
and all the sawhorses and surfaces that I have to put them up and dry are now occupied so I have nothing else to do so well that's not true but since I already have the, the paint out. French grey out right. um, I just <laughs> doing the door <laughs> okay well, you know, what a difference that makes you think so oh yeah I mean I can see that it's a difference I don't know if it's necessarily an improvement um, but I like it I mean I, I don't know it's it's this, this French grey I just love the the look of it in it when you put it on it dries darker right than right. it uh, is I mean it's over here uh, yeah currently we've got uh, just only a one coat there because we had to do some patchwork on this wall so we'll have to go over that wall again yes oh yes that was uh, oh yeah. yes and this door already has the French gray on it yes so it's uh, just you know I don't know if that really comes out because I can see that very clearly this is when it's uh, fresh and this so it dries actually quite a bit dark yes yeah you can and so definitely tell a, that a, a stronger uh, right. contrast yeah it's also sort of interesting that yeah you in this lighting in this corner there is quite a definite difference between the French gray and the uh, slack, slack lime, lime on the wall but <laughs> on the one that you're doing because of the lighting in this corner it's like you, you don't quite see that as much yet because you know this is all just fresh painted French gray so yeah that'll yeah, be cool. I mean, yeah I was thinking that it's such a rustic door I'm not gonna going to sand and scrape and fill anything out this is you know it's a scullery door right and right next to a very rustic fireplace so I'm not going to to put in any energy to make that look any different right uh, it, it just it's going to be a cracked really old door and I quite frankly like it so I know there will be people who go is he nuts guest probably but it's, uh, it's a bit like it's my party and I cry if I want to right so that's right in this case I'm just I just do what I want because I think it's really it's lovely yeah okay I'll let okay. you I'll let you get Thanks. on with that yes goodbye <laughs>
while Stuart was uh, building cabinets and things, uh, I have busied myself painting, not just the kitchen walls, which I'm mean, sitting in here right now. Um, this afternoon we had, uh, the sun was shining and there were no lights on in the kitchen and it was so bright. Yes. And it's the, the floors, it's the walls and the cabinets. And um, so we have eight doors. Some of them are like the size of what, three doors stacked? Mm -hmm. Yes, almost, almost. Uh, and so when I started painting front and back and all this, so this is, uh, you know, as you do. <laughs> And I realized with primer and painting three three coats, uh, I have painted 64 doors, not eight, and 132 doors and narrow doors. So, right, Cab cabinet fronts, drawers. Yes. yes. Yeah. <laughs> it was uh, uh, many, many a coat. And quite frankly, it was so uh, cathartic and satisfying. Because it's we we wanted uh, Little Wing Company's French Grey right. because it's color. I don't know why we just fell in love with it, but it's this color. It's lovely, mm -hmm. um, and we have fronts of this uh, everywhere. We have the door to the scullery. Uh, I painted twice now mm -hmm. um, with uh, that paint. The door to the Covered under the stairs, right, is in that paint, mm -hmm. and the door to the Dania kitchen, right, is it's not in yet, but it's already completely painted and ready to go in, right. So um, it was a lot of painting, and it was between digging out sods of grass, big like clumps in, in the food <sighs> court. I'm yeah. not done. Uh, every day, I try to put in like about thirty-two minutes to an hour. Mm -hmm pulling out grass and weeds from the front courtyard. And I know there will be people say, well, why don't you just spray vinegar on it or burn it? No, it's grass clumps that are this big and, and the, the roots are even bigger that I'm pulling out and you cannot kill them with either no. um, vinegar or no. burning because they just come right back. I mean, right. grass it, doesn't, is... it doesn't kill the roots. All it does right. is kill what's on the surface. And right. then they come back and go, ooh, I'm right. back, hello. Exactly. So I'm uh, digging this out, and this this is usually what I do when I take a break from painting. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. <clears throat> and Stuart has been building cabinets. Now I'm talking for you, <clears throat> so I'm going to shut up now. I have. Uh... I am not yet finished. We had the uh, sink, which you saw, our kitchen sink. Beautiful large kitchen sink. Uh, the only problem that we have with that is that there wasn't really a lot of cabinetry available to hold that size of a sink. No. And you did look it up. Yes, right? it's, uh, it's, it's, these are all custom cabinets. Mm. And uh, they are at a bargain price at 1,500 euros. Right, <laughs> so we decided that I was going to build the cabinet for Why should that. you decide that? Well, I decided that I would, yes. Mm -hmm. And so we will have that probably uh, maybe next week in one of the two episodes. Uh, might have the episode about me building the cabinet for the sink. Yes. Right. Uh, Very impressive. Oh, thank you. Uh, let's see, what else? Well, uh, Iris and Sylvia, who are just wonderful supporters of ours, sent us uh, a book and in German it is this Illustrierte Prachtwerk Sämtlicher Taubenrassen. So it's loosely translated, it's, it's the spectacular book illustrated of all, all um, races of doves and pigeons. Mm -hmm. And it is, it's uh, Art Nouveau, it is incredibly beautiful. I don't know. Do we know uh, how old that book is? I mean, that's... that's it's, not... it's artable. It's, it was... Um, I did look it up. And now it just popped out of my head. It uh, talks about Darwin, by the way, which is interesting. Uh, I think it was printed in 1912. But I might be completely wrong with that. And it has absolutely so amazing... Beautifully illustrated. So... Uh, since this is Chateau de Colombe, which is the, the chateau of the, the dove keepers, 
or pigeon, depending on who you ask. Right. <laughs> right. But so they sent that to us and said, if we wanted to, to frame these illustrated uh, illustrations, illustrators, illustrations, what am I talking about? <laughs> so um, that, that they would be very happy. And it is truly stunning. And we looked up uh, some of those, those breeds. Mm-hmm. They're still actually in existence, and uh, which, which, I mean, they're, they're, they're pigeons in there that we have never seen, right? Right. right. Uh, f- absolutely phenomenal. Thank you so much, and um, that's going to be a lot of frames. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it is just it is just so perfect. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you. Now, next week is. Next week, uh, I think you said you were going to start doing some tiling. Oh, yes. Yes, it's tiling. wall tile time. Keep your fingers crossed. Yes. These are artisanal tiles. They are not smooth. It's... Uh, I'm a little nervous, but it will all oh, work out, as yes. it always does. It will. So we have uh, the time capsule still. Uh, if you want to send something to include in the kitchen time capsule before it's closed up. And I think we decided that uh, probably a couple of weeks, right? Two weeks. In two weeks. Whatever is here uh, in two that's weeks. That's pretty much our deadline now. Yes, because then the cabinet will go up and close that right. opening completely. And that's that. Right. But, um, yes, yeah, so we're getting there. Mm-hmm. And if you like this episode... Uh, subscribe and recommend us to your friends and family. Uh, it helps us a lot. And uh, thank you to our patron. And if you want to support us even more than that, subscribe to patron. And thank you so much. Happy Easter. Yes. And we'll see you next time. Happy Passover. Au revoir. Au revoir. Happy Easter. Have <laughs> full wisdom. Goodbye. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, please use the like feature to let us know. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our Journey to the Chateau YouTube channel if you would like to see more. Once you've subscribed, you can tap the notification bell in order to ring it, which will allow you to receive all notifications from our channel. Thank you.